In Northland, a large group of people are struggling to save the survivors of a mass stranding of pilot whales at Spirits Bay. And while most of the volunteers are local, many of them have travelled a long way to help. Yesterday, I drove from Coromandel eight hours, and we got here yesterday, and we've been here all night and this morning. I came from Auckland. Long drive. <laughs> to the Kaka? Not to Kaka. We did a, um, a marine mammal medic program, and so our crew were trained. The minute we got the tips, we heard of it. So I don't know who's running the dive shop, not me. <laughs> But even after long drives and many hours in the water, nobody's in doubt about why they're here. As a human being, it's um, one of my responsibilities to take care of animals. That's the love of the whales. And I just absolutely adore them. I think they are the most amazing animals. How can you say no? The next step is to get the whales back into the water, but the rough seas at Spirits Bay makes it impossible to release them here. We can't relaunch them here at Spirits Bay. It's a huge sea and the weather's not going to change for another two to three days. So our only real option is getting them to the east coast where there's no swell. Uh, and unfortunately that's quite a long way away. So the logistics of moving 24 live whales is not that easy. We've got a number of trucks and we'll be loading the whales onto the backs of those trucks and trucking them down to Rarawa Beach. The trucks are lined with sand and straw and the long loading process begins. The lifting frames are specially designed to avoid crushing the animals. But before you can pick them up, you have to get the mat under the whale. Hey sweetheart, it's only me. It's alright darling. It's okay. Gotcha. This is Joe Burger. Is it Joe Burger? No, it's not. No, it's, oh, it's not Joe. No, 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 no. What is it? Thought, no, it's, it's, not, it's not Joe Burger. It's Rolly. Is it Rolly? Yeah. Rolly. Yeah. I'm always getting the two of them mixed up because they've both got a big oh, Rolly. Well, then that's Joe okay. Joe Burger is smaller. Smaller. Right. Okay. Are you looking at your right to roll back? Yep, right to roll back. What am I doing? The whales are doing pretty good at the moment. They're all cool, calm and collected. And a lot of them have just been sitting here in the water, just quietly, just taking a bit of a rest and a recovery um, after their ordeal the other night. It takes several hours to load all the whales, but eventually the convoy is ready to start the 50-kilometre journey to Raroa Beach on the east coast. We've got to get going pretty quickly because it's actually getting quite hot, so that some of the ones that have been in trucks for a while are, are feeling uncomfortable. Come on, buddy, take a breath and... In spite of the heat, the trucks have to move slowly to avoid further injuries to the whales. But even with the greatest of care, three die on the way. And they were just here in the last little bit, you know, literally they could see the ocean. But we lost Buddy, Rolly and Scarface, um, which is really, really sad. But we're hopeful for the others, you know, they seem to be doing really well. They're sitting cool and calm out there and just waiting for their release moment. One of them um, is an escapee and has taken off out to sea, which is a good thing, but we don't want them to just all head out willy-nilly. We need to get them together as a group and head out together. Because the bonding is so strong with these animals, if we send them out just all over the place randomly, then they're likely to go up the beach and strand somewhere else. But if we can get them together as a, as a group, then they'll support each other if one of them's not really very well or is still has a bit of an injury or still isn't orientated, and then they can head out together as a group. Finally, as darkness falls, the last of the whales is returned to the sea. We're just lifting the last whale out, um, and it's gone really smoothly. Uh, and it's actually still light, which was a, 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 real, a real bonus. Uh, so, yeah, as soon as we get them all together in a, in a group, we'll, we'll push the pontoon whales out, probably about a 500 metres, and we'll let them go. They're all in amazing condition and just ready to get out of here. 
The rescue faced more sadness the following day when seven of the 21 survivors re-beached at Rarua and had to be euthanized. The other 14 were never seen again.